Today, I'm gonna to drop some reality about what to expect in the 2023 real estate market here in the Austin area. We're gonna do that next. My name is Jeff Miller. I'm a residential real estate specialist here in the greater Austin area. I focus on residential buy and sell in Austin and all the great communities that surround Austin. And if you wanna keep up on the Austin real estate market, do me a favor, click that subscribe button down below and you can see all my videos and keep up with my regular videos about this market and all that you need to know about it. So today we're gonna look at the coming year and decide if 2023 is gonna be a good year in the real estate market or not. Now opinions definitely vary and after 2022, that makes a lot of sense, right? 2022 came in on fire and kind of went out with a whimper thanks to inflation, the interest rates, market woes, and just really, it took it out, not like it came in. And with what's going on in the world right now, it'd be easy to think that it's just gonna be the exact same in 2023, but will it? Now, I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't predict the future or see the future really, and no one else I know has a crystal ball either. So what you have to do is look at the information and decide for yourself what you think about the coming year. The crazy thing is that when you look at the research, the opinions run the whole spectrum from doom and gloom to stabilizing and steady to semi-returning to normal and kind of getting back on fire a little bit. And I will tell you that I am only referencing the greater Austin area because that's my area, not referencing the rest of the country when I talk about real estate. Now on the fear side is that interest rates are gonna to continue to climb in 2023, that house prices are gonna to continue to drop in 2023, that buyers aren't gonna be there, that sellers aren't gonna be able to sell. And after 2022, and kind of looking at where things have been this fall and beginning of winter, I can see why people might think that. On the positive side is the thought that interest rates have somewhat stabilized and look like they may trend to do better. House prices have leveled and if they do drop, may not drop that much. They actually didn't drop as much in Austin as they did in other parts of the country. And that people will begin to get used to this new normal. And that meaning that people who need to buy homes will need to buy homes and people who need to sell will need to sell. I realize I'll probably get some blowback for this, but I am on the positive side of the thought process and it's not because I'm a realtor. Here's why I'm on the positive side. If you look at the economy in Austin, the economy in Austin is still strong and it only looks to get stronger as more businesses come here. We have influx of businesses. Our tech sector continues to be invested in and continue to grow. I mean, we are fast becoming the tech hub in the country and it's still an area that is considered to be affordable. Now, I realize that last one, that can be debatable. If you grew up in Austin, then y'all are looking at me like, it is not affordable in Austin anymore. But if you came from a West Coast Metro, and what, especially what's happening out there, you're still gonna come here and think, hey, this is affordable. The housing prices are gonna be affordable to you, gas prices, uh, groceries, everything is gonna be more affordable. So I, I feel like that is a real debatable issue, but that's my thought process on that. And when you look at Texas, Texas for the last two years, 21 and 22, has been the fastest growing state in the country. And Austin is one of the top growing cities in the country. And the nice thing is here in Austin or the central Texas area, we have the geographic capacity for growth. So we will continue to expand and grow and be able to handle that growth. The other reality is if you're a home buyer and you're looking to buy a home that you're gonna be in for years, history is still on your side. And some other factors that could make 2023 a good year to buy would be one, and I've talked about these in other videos, but one would be you, don't have, you wouldn't have to pay a premium for your bid to be the winning bid in the multiple bid situation in 2023. Unlike early in 2022, 21, and even 20, where that was very common, the case. Two, you can get the home you're looking for, not just get a home, but you can have a little more choice in the home you wanna buy, which is a real plus. And three, financially, there are incentives that can help you when it comes to buying. Uh, I've talked about before temporary rate buy downs, where it's 2% lower that first year, 
1% lower interest rate that second year, and then you're paying whatever rate you established at this point in time. That gives you some financial flexibility to see what happens down the road. So yes, I do believe 2023 could be a good year to buy a home here in the greater Austin area. Hey, if I can answer any questions for you or you need any help buying a home here in the Austin area, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is right there. Y'all have a good day.